supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey, make sure y'all hit that like button. Nobody will know. Helps out the video a lot. And make sure you subscribe if you are new. In this video, we are going to drop the best build tutorial in 2K23 history, man. Be showing you the best builds at every position. Not the fake position, not the one through five, the real position. The main ball handlers, the lock, the poppers. You know, those, those are the main builds, okay? And I'm gonna I'm give you the best builds that fit your play style, not forcing you to play like someone else's play style. I'm gonna give y'all the best builds that will fit your play style. They will all be timestamped down below in the description for next gen and current gen, okay? If you do see a build on next, okay, I'm telling you right now, listen, you can replicate it because the build system is very close and make it even better on current gen if you're just smart, okay? Because with next gen, you're restricted because of tiers. You don't, you're not restricted on current gen. So you can give more or you can have less and then give more in certain other areas. A lot of people don't know that, man. And then I, I think the, another difference is you have to be certain positions to get the rim take, but most positions, it doesn't really matter except for build names and maybe certain takeovers. But go in depth about the attributes, you know, the best bang for your buck. You're gonna learn a lot about the badges and everything, man. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite build in 2K23 so far. Okay, so look, 16 shooting badges, gold amp, gold claymore, Hall of Fame clutch, silver agent threes, and it's tier two, so you can get that hole very easy. And yeah, you know, probably gonna need that gold catch and shoot if, um, you know, you play with other people, but yeah. Here's the playmaking. You gonna have some nice animation. Gold quick first step. You know, you get to unlock the pass styles at 75. Gold clamp breaker. Gold unpluckable, which should work a lot better. And um, 75 speed with ball, which unlocks a lot of animations, okay? Now look, you get gold limitless and contact dunk, 70 layup for the annies, and you got a standing dunk, my boy. Okay, it's pretty decent for the finishing. See, the thing with these six nines, the Limitless ain't on tier three. Here's your physicals, man. The 80 speed to guard. 81 acceleration is very good for a 6'9". Got the nice vertical to help with your boards, your contest, and your animations, and your rising. And you got the decent stamina, man. Now, defensively, man, we got the 79 interior, bro. That's insane. 86 perimeter, you know, guard. Got some clamps on you. You got the 85 steel. You know, you got some steals on you. Got some interceptor on you. And you got the 99 block for the Hall of Fame anchor, bro. You feel me? You not, ain't scoring on you in the paint, man. Okay, so you can already get stops without anchor in the paint. I do it all the time. Paint de defense is terrible in this game. This is, get, you can even, use, bro, you can use this build for all modes. But 1v2, 1v1 and 2v2, insane, bro. Now, you start to notice a crazy difference with gold and then Hall of Fame, bro. You're going to get a lot more stops, man. Especially if you learn how to stop people in the paint, get the right takeovers, and then you're an offensive god. So then, you know, like, it's ridiculous, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the build. And also, I recommend this build for people that can shoot with a low three. Look, it's an 83-3, right? I know people, I know people be like, oh, you only need this much. Look. If you're probably watching this video, you probably aren't like too like godlike. Listen, you have to know yourself, okay? If you can't shoot, make builds with high threes, bro. Like 89 plus, okay? A lot of y'all are terrible and it's okay to be terrible or you're casual and you don't put up too much time into learning how to shoot, bro. If you don't learn how to shoot, stop playing online, bro. Figure out your jump shot. I got hella jump shot videos. Figure out the tricks, the right badges. Everyone always has the wrong badges on. Dude, watch my build videos at the very end. I show you the right badges. I play with randoms a lot, bro. Like, no one can shoot, bro. It's, it's like, it's insane. How are people getting online playing and they can't shoot? So everyone just stands in the paint on them. What? 
experience are you having, bro? That's insane. Like, there's a sickness in this community. Now, um, I would rock uh, the takeovers like this. Um, here's all the takeovers you get. Okay. Get the playmaking take, the sharp takes, the lock takes. And then look, the more paint and intimidation. So like you can really go in on that hook, but you can't put the sharp takes, it's up to you. So this is my boy's keys build, okay? My main lock that I always play with, that I've been playing with since 2K22 or 21. 22, we had a 100 win percent, okay? Over a thousand games, I've never lost on current gen 2K22. 23, we've never lost either. He has like a 97, okay? This is his lock build, he mainly plays 1v1 okay so his record's not with me this year but you know he's still maintaining it and improving it when he does play with me but he plays 1v1s on his other build y'all let me know if you want me to show y'all his other build okay if y'all want to see my version of the best lockdown builds you know just check my channel bro but this is key's build y'all always ask hearing whatever your name is. i don't know you a god of war character my boy Thanks for the subscription. This is his build, man. He got the contact dunks. He got a high three. You know, he's six, seven. He got some ball handing, handling. He got some unpluckable. And he has immaculate defense. 88 interior. 95 perimeter D. 99 steel. Block stupid high. Decent rebounding. You know, the max speeds, the maxed out strength. This is a powerful lockdown build, man. I'm gonna understand. Now look, bro. I recommend this build for rec players, um, people that want to become a meta PG, like a real PG, because I genuinely think it might be easier <laughs> to to uh, use Steve Francis and fade than it is to uh, dunk every play and abuse the paint D. The fading on a little build and um, with the right SIGs and badges is insane now look as you can see look th this is not for everybody now if you want to learn this like look for for rec for instance look this is the reason this is an amazing rec build okay everyone stands paint so if anyone drives on you bro it doesn't matter your team's just gonna pick up you know you just communicate with them etc look 99.3 in this bed you feel me 99.3 okay i made a 99 Hall of Fame Agent 3s, okay? This is not just for fading, which a lot of people think is for stop and pop, rhythm, shooter, everything combined in one. So you're gonna be really shooting like a god, like 2K22, and you have Hall of Fame Limitless Range. They already did a video on this, and it's like the most OP broken badge. You basically have Limitless Take on, <laughs> like, instantly. Now look, Pro-Am too, man, but you have to have people cover you up. And you can use this for threes too, because listen, if you really are a cheeser, bro, and you like really unstoppable, niggas can't guard you, because the defense in this game is terrible. But you gotta learn how to do it, okay? Because a two can't beat a three every play, bro. And then they start playing desperate, you get baits, free scores out that hole. But, um, you know, you can use them on the 3v3 too, but... You probably need like better teammates to cover you up in the stage okay a lot of people have um a lot of people have builds with no d so this build is a build with no d with a 99.3 and not a lot of people not doing that so i mean th this is this is some crazy stuff now look you got a 94 ball wait hold on let me oh you got a 75 pass accuracy that's eh you know but you got a 94 ball handle right Gold handles for days, gold clamp breaker, gold mismatch, etc. Man, you know, play playmaking's whatever, right? You're also gonna be able to get contact dunks on this build, man, and have limitless takeoff on a 99.3 build, bro. Now at this point, no one can stop you, right? No one can stop you. You're you're in your own way. It, it, it all depends on what you want to be. Again, I only recommend this if you are a straight rec player or, you know, you want to grind rec, you know, random rec and stuff. You with random, bro, you will dominate. <laughs> bro, they're going to think you're a god, bro. Like, literally, bro. You know, because everyone stands in the paint, bro. Like, you you do not need defense in the rec as a, a, as a PG. They're going to cover you up, bro. And if they don't, bro, like they're 
you are meant to lose, bro. If everyone's guarding their man, not protecting the paint, doing what wreck randoms do best, <laughs> niggas is lost, okay? Okay, so look, you get some contacts. You got a nice 84. You get that giant slayer, right? You got a 74 layup. You get that giant slayer gold. It's a, it's a very great badge. Um, and you get posterizer on bronze, okay? So, look, 84 midi. Again, in the wreck, you learn your middies, bro. You can fade at the midi. You know, if, if they start, like, dick sucking the three-point, like, you can really destroy people. This is all if you're willing to learn the Steve Francis left, right, cheese, or whatever cheese you want to do. You're going to be fast as hell because you have a 94 acceleration, bro. Okay? You are going to be stupid fast. You got a 99 stamina. You got your contacts, so you can use this anywhere. Okay, um, despite what y'all might like not believe, there are people who run no defensive builds and you know they've been doing it since <laughs> the first two K's. And you can get by if you just work with your team. This is up to you, okay? Don't be like blah 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 blah. Like, don't be dick sucking me in the comments, nigga. I'm just showing y'all the build that I made, bro. Cause I know niggas is gonna ask. Y'all always ask me about the builds. This is what this is a new build I made. I'm going to be dominating in the wreck with him, just like I was on Baby Swan in 2K22. Y'all know in Random Wreck, I was da, da, da. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. What randoms? <laughs> on my dick. <laughs> and that 26 post control, because we don't get spinning with it. Hey, who saw that Steezo wager, man? The reaction is up on my channel, man. Y'all go check it out. Now, it's up to you how you want to do this, ho. Now, your fades are already going to be immaculate, right? But it's like, do you want it to be more immaculate? You know? Or you could just go for ankle breaker shots. Because now you can start to get ankle breakers. You already got your fade in maxed. And you already got that limitless because of that Hall of Fame thing. So this will be actually adding a new thing to your arsenal, being able to break niggas. It's up to you, though. You know, accelerators are grind. Y'all make sure y'all get accelerator if you are trying to play 2K and all that. I would personally probably go with uh, one of these first, since we already have Hall of Fame Limitless Range. Um, it's up to you, bro. If you know how to get ankle breakers and stuff, go ahead, go ankle breaker shots. And um, getting the three off would be even better and get better highlights, etc. Up to you, bro. And then you can go limitless range or you can do the pull-up precision. It's just up to you, man. You know, experiment with that Hall of Fame, limitless, and, and test it out, bro. You know, just rock something like this. Y'all let me know what gen y'all on, current gen or next gen, man. And also, if you have an 80 plus win percent on current or next, hit me up on Twitter, bro. I desperately need teammates. And you are a shot creator build, man. Let's get into it. This is the first lock. This is the Demi Bailout Swan Lock. The Bailout Meta Swan Lock. Okay, I'm going to explain to you why, okay? When your PG gets locked up, this is the perfect build. This happens a lot. PGs are struggling now. Main ball handlers are struggling, okay? With this, you have gold posterizer there's a thing called skill dunk learn to master it get your slasher take it does not require much skill you will dunk over anyone and then if you play any type of comp you're mostly going to be guarded by the pg but even then like you'll be able to yam on the centers too you have gold posterizer skill dunk gold limitless take so it's like you know they pass it to you you know, you take a step in, ying, you know, you fly, bro. If y'all need tutorials for all that, like, uh, you know, I, I got you, bro. But um, just let me know if y'all need any type of tutorials. But And then you get a lot of the, like, a lot of the dope contact dunk animations with the 93. But it's the reason is for that gold posterizer, man. And the stand and dunk, man, you know, you can do stand and dunk cheese, okay? You have silver rise up. You can contact dunk people. This is the bailout lock, okay? And then you still got a nice um, layup too. 
Now this build, you can make even crazier on current gen, man. Okay, now the shoot and got gold claymore, gold catch and shoot at a tier two, okay? Very important. And you got all the other shooting badges. Now the reason it's 83-3, Agent 3 Silver, okay? Agent 3s is not just a fading badge. It's the stop and pop anything. You do any movement or anything, whatever. Agent 3s, okay? Now, this is another thing to bail out the PG. They pass it to you in the corner, you run up to the top of the key and fade. Okay, these are comp moves, but you can master them. You can do this on all levels, rec, pro-am, all that. But the this Agent 3s will help you be able to do that, man. You know, these I'm telling y'all the, the comp secrets, man. Now, this right here, the playmaking, okay? I do have a lock with playmaking. If y'all don't know, a lot of comp locks, they do not have unpluckable, the same with the centers. Um, that's up to you if you think that matters too much, but I'm letting y'all know how the comp locks, the meta is how they're running their builds, okay? Um, this is just for the pass accuracy. You will still be able to move, catch the ball out the corner, go yam, dunk. You will still be able to do all of that, but you know, it's not as, you know, well-rounded as um it could be. You know, this might not be the lock for you, but um this is more for like if you have a team, etc. And e even even without a team, bro, this a lock in general is, is, is insane. You have a 99 still, it's broken. The 75 pass accuracy is gonna allow you to unlock a pass style to um you know pass the ball faster current gen there is no pass style so you might be able to go lower or higher or whatever you feel you need to do now this defense okay 25 defensive we got a great interior 97 perimeter okay we got hall of fame clamps hall of fame glove hall of fame interceptor hall of fame challenger silver anchor it works but you have to be you know skilled you know somewhat because paint d is terrible you know but this is mostly for perimeter still you can still get a lot of paint stops you know um a lot it's all about your positioning and all that hoobla but this is mainly to bail out your guard and um play immaculate perimeter defense and you know paint defense too you got some rebounding you feel me and look you got the 87 speed so you know you're you're extremely fast the best heights for locks are six seven and six six okay you are extremely fast you know you got some acceleration on you they force you to have that and you got the vertical okay vertical is going to help you get rebounds and contest in the paint okay and also help you unlock certain dunks and you also have an 89 stamina when you're not a ball handler you could go a little lower with your stamina and you will be fine this is the first lock the bailout lock y'all let me know how y'all feel about it can i get to the yams sweet yams show me away because i got bills to pay can i get to the yams sweet yams show me away now this build right here okay listen this is more for this is like a test. I'm gonna show you the other version of this, okay? I have a theory, bro, okay? It's still an amazing lock. Listen, I have a theory, bro. When you make these lockdowns with quick drops only, right? What's the point? Because you can't get limitless takeoff, right? You can't get it, okay? On current gen, you can't. But you can't get it unless you get all these badges, right? You have to get like seven, to, you know, you, you have to have over 10 and and more like what, 13 just to get it on bronze and then it's like pointless, you know, just to get it on gold and all that is point, you're not going to get it. But a lot of comp locks, they like to make this type of build, but you know, you have the 80 dunk, the 60 vertical, but it's like, you can't get limitless. So what's the point for going for quick drops? Here's another method. Now you have to learn how to do this. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. R2 and square is how you spam standing dunks, okay? There is a cheese method. Right when you get under, right when you get under the restricted, man, that's when you hit your R2 square. You can stop, you could do whatever. 
and you know you'll dunk on people all that and look you even got the rise up to help to get it on the silver now i don't know exactly what you need to still get somewhat driving dunks i don't know if it's a 40 45 but if y'all know you know you can adjust the build some but i have a i have a theory bro okay i haven't made the build i'm just helping out i am a build genius okay that this is how we used to do stuff back in the day you know you know we used to go in the we used to wait until we hit the restricted and then hit the r2 square and you never get dunk standing dunk cheese even like you know you get certain animations you can't get dunk no matter how they're trailing you if you wait till all the way then to activate you're dumb, okay? A lot of people don't know that stuff, but that's besides the point. Now, I'm gonna show you the other version after I show you this version, but this is why it looks like this. This might like relax in the comments, relax. I'm just letting you know if any of y'all wanna test it, go for it, bro. I'm gonna show you the other version after this. Okay, now look, same method um, as the previous build, you know, you can bail out. Um, your PG, you know, you got you could fade, you got the catch and shoot, got the 83 3. You know, you got the free throw, and you know, you got the midi. You know, you decent, you decent on the shooting, right? Now, the playmaking, you can speed boost, okay? You got some unpluckable, okay? You got some clamp breaker, okay? You know, you could bail out. This is more for you know, you play with randoms, you still trying to, you might have to create sometimes, and um, yeah, like for instance, like you have a 99 steal, right? Now you got some speed with ball, you can go full court and you know, go crazy. Make sure y'all hit that like button. You know, you get the steal, boom, you're going off to the racing. And you still got the nice pass accuracy, got quick first step bronze, hyper drive, floor general, unpluckable, you know, you feel me? So when you get your steals with your 99, you can go off, you know, on the pro, on the fives, you know, the threes, you know, you can, you know, full take it full court, you know? Braun in his prime. Now you got a 80 interior, demi, sh demi stuff. You can also use this build for 1v1s and 2v2s. Now look, like, look, th this is such a, like, a dope build on every mode. 1v1, 2v2, threes, and fives, bro. Because look, bro, you can speed boost, move around, stand and dunk cheese when you need to finish. You got a nice three, and you have a 99 steal. So it's wraps on the ones. It's, it's like really wraps, like, and you have silver post lockdown for when you face post scores and you can rip people. In past 2Ks, a lot of people dominated the ones with like locks and some of their locks can't even speed boost. You can speed boost with this, okay? And you have a stupid high interior, Hall of Fame clamps. 1v1 and 2v2 players are not used to playing people with Hall of Fame clamps and Hall of Fame glove. You're going to destroy them, okay? Like bad, okay? And you know, you still got the silver anchors, you know, you know, you feel me? And you got the 93 rebounding, and you got the gold rebound chaser. So you gonna horse them. A lot of people in these 1v1s and 2v2s, they don't upgrade their rebounding too much. So you're gonna horse, steal, and just destroy them, bro. Like game ruining, bro. <laughs> like, bro, if you play this build in a sim versus semi decent person, you it, it's, it's not gonna be fun <laughs> like at all. You have an 87 speed, 77 acceleration, and yeah, the vertical is a little eh, but you know, it's all because the quickie drops, right? You know, y'all can alter this, you know, let me know what you think. Now, let me show you the other version. Now, here's the other version, man, like the non standing dunk version. But I, as you can see, bro, like, look, you see, you, you can't even activate limitless takeoff. You, you you can't you can't get it you feel me but if you mean you if you still want to go for it this is the other version but you see what you had to sacrifice right you had to lower the offensive rebound and if y'all don't know what i'm talking about look at the bill before it is you had to lower the offensive rebound you had to knock down the speed okay you had to knock down the speed from 87 to 85 just to be able to get this driving dunk when you can't even get limitless take. I don't know if y'all ever try to dunk without limitless takeoff. It's gonna annoy you. But you know, test it out. Do what you will, do what you won't. Test the hoe out. You can literally go test the build. Test the stand and dunk. I mean, versus computers is, is fluky because they stay on you crazy. So it's kind of hard to test like that. But um, do what you will, bro. This build got the, uh, the quick drops, but without the limitless. You got the fading three, catch and shoot. 
Claymore, Green Machine. You know, you can go crazy. You can really bail out that damn PG. You can speed boost. You know, you could dominate the 1v1 yourself, just like I told y'all before. You could speed boost. You got some unpluckable on your build. You got the hyper drive. You got quick first step, handles for days. You got immaculate defense. You can stop post scores. You got silver post lockdown, stupid high interior, Hall of Fame glove, Hall of Fame clamps, interceptor, challenger, gold rebound chaser okay for the 1v1 and 2v2s a lot of people don't have that you know gold chase down artist silver anchor you know you can really dominate the ones on this build as i said before people are not used on the 1v1 and 2v2 for having someone guard them with hall of fame clamps and glove and gold rebound chaser so you're going to destroy them if you're half decent on other 2ks People use lockdowns that couldn't even speed boost like this to go on 70 game win streaks all the time, okay? You could do that same method, you know? And um, go crazy. And, you know, you got the speed and all that. You know, you, you, you good. You good. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this build. Okay, that's three. I'm going to show you the last one. Okay, now this is the 6-8 lock. That could do 1v1s more if you play with randoms, more all around, but not as OP with the D, but still very immaculate. Ultimate 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. It can play all builds, okay? With this game, man, it's very expensive. 100 plus dollars. You gotta have builds that could do everything. Um, if you want, unless you, you know, if you don't have a team and stuff. But, um, yeah, okay, let me explain this build, okay? You got a decent layup, you know, unlock some animations. You got the 80 drive and dunk for the limitless, or not for the limitless, for the quick drops, correct? Okay, now, unlike those other builds, you got quick drops and the stand and dunk cheese, so you can combine that if you learn it. You got silver rise up. Um, you'll eventually be able to get limitless takeoff on silver, you just have to add extra badges and you'll be Gucci. Current gen, you don't have to. All these builds you can make better on current gen, bro, because there's no tiers on um, the badges, right? And um, yeah, you could bail out, you know, stick dunk. But yeah, you know, decent finishing, right? All you need is quick drops and you'll be completely fine. Okay, the shooting, you got all the badges you need, bro. The clutch shooter, combat kid, claymore, agent threes, green machine, catch and shoot, etc. bro. Everything you'll need. You see, you speed boost, you got the 75, hyper drive, silver quick first step, silver unpluckable. This is a lock, right? Okay, you're good. You're good. This is for a lock, but still. You can run the ball and all that. Even if they do rip you, you can get it back, bro. Okay, your build's defense is immaculate. This is mainly just a lock, right? This is for y'all that want to be 6'8 for some reason. This is, you know, how you make a 6'8 lock that's, you know, super versatile, man. Got a little bit more size on you and wingspan than the 6'7s or 6'6 six, six locks, okay? Um... Yeah, you unlock a lot of anim animations at play make, um, playmaking, and yeah. Now, the defense. Defense is, you know, OD. You can stop post scores, Hall of Fame chase down artists, Hall of Fame workhorse, Hall of Fame off-ball pet, silver interceptor, silver glove, silver pogo, gold anchor. Okay, now, gold anchor, you really notice a difference in the paint contest. You know, you got gold clamps, etc., man really nice stats and you got an immaculate rebounding you know for the 1v1s twos whatever you want to play you got some offensive rebound on you and defense and, you know you got decent speed stamina and vertical man to unlock certain dunks and just a vertical to help you get more boards and contest 1v1 build for you niggas that do not have friends an amazing 2v2 build and it can even play the threes and uh pro am and uh wreck it could play everything but ones and twos for sure when you don't have no friends man so we gonna make them six nine lowest weight seven three wingspan built so you appear even bigger than what you're supposed to be let's go to these damn physicals man so look we're gonna give them 92 stamina i did want more but yeah and also you can make this build on current gen 2 and um it will be even better 
Okay, so look, we got a 79 speed, you know, with gym rat, that's plus four, so you got 83, that's good. Acceleration, you know, 85 with gym rat. Um, you got decent strength, you know, for the little post scores. 85 vertical is gonna help you with rebounding, contest, and dunking, bro, and getting contact dunk. Um, 92 stamina, I didn't want more, but had to do a few things. Now for the defense, man, look, we got 80 interior. Okay, with silver anchor, 21 defensive badges, Hall of Fame off-ball pest, silver glove, silver post lockdown for the full full post scores. Okay, a lot of people have these uh, 1v1 builds without post lockdown on that hoe. Well, you got post lockdown and you got a high interior. I know people probably go for menace, but it is a um, weak badge, bro. It doesn't work. Um, you got gold challenger, silver clamp, silver interceptor, gold chase down, silver pogo, bronze rebound. Now the playmaker, Hall of Fame ankle break, gold hyper drop, quick first step gold, gold clamp breaker, silver handles for days, silver killer combos, gold. You definitely are going to want to put your extra badges on playmaker so you can get, you know, <laughs> these badges now for the shooting man gold amped hall of fame claymore hall of fame space creator hall of fame volume hall of fame clutch shooter silver agent threes gold green machine gold catch and shoot and silver limitless range and um it's not that too far off the meta because it's like 89 92 90 that's what people are going with. you got an 87 you know you could you know a lot of people go even lower but you got an 87 you know that it, it, it matters. It makes it easier. You can get it done with lower. Guys, what, what y'all have to remember, a lot of y'all casuals especially, make builds you can shoot on based off your skill level. If you struggle, you got to have your three higher, bro. You can't be on a build that you can't shoot on, bro. You make it harder on yourself, your enjoyment of the game, and your teammates, man. A lot of y'all rec guys be tripping. If you can't shoot, you better spam your three up, bro. Okay, so look, we got Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, bro. Silver Slithery, Hall of Fame Pro Touch, Gold Limitless Takeoff at a Tier 2 bag, Masher on Bronze, Silver Fearless Fin, Silver Posterizer, Bronze Rise Up, Demi, and we got a unique name at the end. Y'all let me know, um, you know, y'all y'all can uh make variations of this build, but you know, this is a nice blueprint to really make y'all go crazy. Now for the takeovers, this is what I would personally do, so look. You got goddamn a 80 interior silver anchor now with this takeover killing niggas. And then if somehow you get like team take, if you're playing with teammates, you know, you got the limitless range to go crazy. But it's like a lot of times when people get takeover, they still can't stop people in the paint. You know, a lot of people, they get bailed out because the paint's so bad, like especially in these ones and twos. This is really going to set you apart. Man. And voila, we got a three point shooter, Sean Marion Bill. OG. Also, you can make this build on current gen 2, man, but you might have to alter it slightly. Wingspan. Okay, so look, here's what we got so far. 80 stamina. You gonna be all right, bro. You a center. You gonna max out that vertical. It's gonna help you with your contest, your rebounding, etc. You're gonna max out that strength, man. It's gonna uh, give you brick wall, you know, in case you don't want to spot up. You know, be a, a popper with a 99 rebound. You feel me? Um, you gonna you can set screens, be a little foo foo boy, and you got a 77 speed. Okay. Now with your gym rat, or if, when you do your drills, that's plus four. Okay. 77 speed on a seven foot man. It's crazy. Eight. That's a 90 strength. That's a uh, 88 vertical. That's that's, that's kind of wild, my boy. Now look. 84 offensive rebound, 99 rebound, ridiculous on a seven footer. Hey, 93 block, you're gonna have gold anchor, and you're gonna have steel. And you know, your, your interior is good enough. If you can't get a stop in the paint, even though the paint defense is terrible, you can't get a stop being seven foot, gold anchor, 710 wingspan, 93 block. With the 73 interior, it's you, bro. It's, it's not the game. You, you got to put yourself in the right positions. I know sometimes it's going to be the game. But if you can't, you know, if it you, you don't notice a difference compared to the 
the six nines, you know, on all of them, like them centers, it's 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 more than like you, you bro. So you gonna have Hall of Fame Pogo, Hall of Fame Chase Down, okay? Hall of Fame Box Out Beast, Interceptor, Glove, Challenger, Off Ball Pest, Gold Workhorse, you know? It's cool. 76 pass accuracy, gold break star. You know, you don't want a center with 25 pass accuracy, bro. I be playing random wreck. Y'all got to come out to my streams, bro. I be playing random wreck, and the centers be having 25 pass accuracy. I be like, hey, bitch, why the fuck are you making a build with 25 pass accuracy? You're a PG. I shouldn't even have to pass the ball, blah, blah, blah. Like, bro. And I'll be trying to explain it to them, bro. Their egos are bigger than stage players. It's crazy, bro. Guys, please do not make a build with low pass accuracy, bro. You make it too hard on your team, bro. Unless you're just going to stay in my career, that's the only reason. Guys, have a decent pass accuracy, bro. You make it too hard. Too many steals, bro. You can't. Come on, guys. Get it together, man. Please, y'all wreck people are crazy. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all think y'all know everything. Boys be having a 21 percent boy. 79 three points, 68 midi, good enough to hit with. Free throw a little low, but you still can hit with this hoe. And um, you know you can't adjust some other things if you know you want to get the free throw up. So you got bronze agent threes, um, volume shooter. Green Machine, Claymore, Catch a Shoot. Of course, you're gonna have to add badges to the shooting so you can get that uh, core that uh, Catch a Shoot because you're gonna need that. And um, yeah, and by the way, you're gonna have sharp take on this build, right? Crazy, right? 90 standing dunk, that's OD. Gold Rise Up, Quick Drops, okay? Now look, I don't know if I'm stupid. I don't think there's a height limit for Quick Drops, but if there is, I'm just dumb. Uh, but yeah, 80 for the quick drops. Y'all let me know in the comments. And we'll have an 80 close shot, bro. Okay, for the standing layups and stuff. So you're going to have silver, limitless takeoff, back down punisher gold, hall of fame pro touch, silver bully, silver fast twitch, silver masher. And yeah, like this is this a nice popper spot up build. You see, you got the limitless ring. You could double up on that hole, but look. I want to do this because if you have accelerator on this build, right? Y'all y'all make sure y'all put in the work to get accelerator so you can get it on all your new builds, but make sure you get it before you make your new builds uh cuz then it transfers over. But look, I don't know if you have to do it on your first build or not. Y'all have to let me know, bro. 2K way too much stuff. But on current gen, you get one block, you unlock double takeover. So I'm assuming on next gen, if you get one block in the paint, bruh, like a stop in the paint, you get like instant takeover. It's broken, bruh, um, with accelerator. It's broken as hell, so I don't know, bruh. Um, you can choose whichever you want, or you can choose a glass one. Up to you, man, just throw on Limitless on this hoe. We got some bot-ass niggas, and look, we are a Clement finisher. Y'all want a true Jamorian build, Allen Iverson build, Drew Holiday build, Westbrook build, John Wall build, all these builds in their prime. It's the video for you, man. You are not going to want to skip or you will be lost on why this is him. Okay, so look, firstly, man, we're going to make it a PG. Oh, you feel me? This is how we're going to rock them out. You want to appear bigger than what you are, man. Stop making skinny, my players. Get some help. Y'all let me know who your uh, favorite 6'3 player is, man. But yeah, 6'3. Okay. We are going to bring this driving dunk up to a 86, my boy, Sandy. Okay. You feel me? 12 finishing. Check it out. Hold on. 12 finishing, right? There ain't no tier restrictions, man. And th this works on next gen too. You know, you might just have to slightly adjust it a little bit. But the build system is basically the same. So look, you get the limitless. 
you know, the Giant Slayer and the Slithery, man. You, you Gucci, bro. Ain't no tears, ain't no get 10 plus. This is why current gen, low key, like, <laughs> way less stress to deal with, man. You can really play the game, nigga, you know? They implementing all these stupid ass things, shit, dumb as hell, bro. They thought that shit was a good idea. So look, we got 20 playmaking, okay? Gold clamp breaker, Hall of Fame quick first step. Gold Killer Combos, Gold Unpluckable, Gold Hyperdrive, etc. Uh, for the shooting, we're going to have Gold Agent 3s, you know, Silver Limitless, etc. This build could be an amazing hash build, bro. You're going to see why. An amazing PG build. Really good for Wreck and Pro Am, like OD. And amazing for stage and park, too, okay? I know a lot of people think 6.9s are the meta, they're really not, these 6.3s and 6.1s are still the meta, um, yeah, just depends on what mode you really play, man, you play 2v2s and 1s, it's, it's always been like that, so look, as you can see, man, we get bronze clamps, hall of fame glove, hall of fame interceptor, gold workhorse, 21 defensive badges, bro, Silver Challenger, you know, you can pinch OD, get crazy steals, or you can go guard ball. Having two members on your team with a 99 steal is crazy. They might not expect it. It's just OD, bro. You know, um, anyone tries to baby you, you spam square. They try to pass it, front cut you, you uh, get the steal. You have a 99 steal, okay? Um, and then smaller builds, like for instance, I don't know if y'all ever watched if you ever watch like certain comp guards play, they could play way back back in the old 2Ks, like 2K20 or 19. They would actually take the guard off with some people, right? They'd be like, stop guarding ball, your ass, right? It'd be a big ass lockdown with all the stats. And they'll just put that little guard on them. And all of a sudden you see the guard wouldn't be able to get open, right? I think this there's something to do with the defense. Um you could just guard um, PGs better when you're just a little guard. It's it's weird. So now having a 99 steal, you could really like get up in someone's like pocket and get them steals a lot easier, bro. It's really weird. Y'all let me know if y'all notice the same thing. And we have a 79 speed, 94 acceleration, 99 stamina, 75 vert for them uh, particular contacts that I like. Um, the off the ones. And, um, yeah, bro, I know a lot of people say, oh, you'll need blah, blah, blah. Look, man, yeah, your stats go above a 99, okay? Um, acceleration is very important with your speed boosting and moving around and stuff. So you have, like, a real speed demon, like a real fade guy, dunk guy, contact dunk guy. Crazy. The 99 stamina, you know, it's going to help. You know, you can take it down if you want, but... You're not going to really get nothing out of it, bro, to be honest. Now, look, you get shot creator take, sharp take, playmaker take, lockdown defender take. It's personally up to you. I'm going to go with shot creator, man, versus bums. You know, the sharp would be better. But it seems like the difference between people is being able to fade. So I want to put that shot creator first. I think you I, uh, I think you can get... Um, take over the fastest with shot creator so i want to put that first because current gen isn't like uh next gen man when you get takeover once it's double takeover like when you have accelerator and you can get accelerated very fast it's pretty broken man and um you can go with sharp take or you just go with playmaker and uh get them ankle breakers and shit like that and i'm, I'm thinking this, this this is gonna be my lineup man you know you can do the sharp if you want, you know. You know, you can always switch it out later. You you can change your takeover. And we got a three-point shot creator. MJ building is prime. Kobe building is prime. Okay, if you want one of those two builds, this is the perfect build video for you. Okay, make sure you do not skip so you really understand why this build is him and how to do the future. Or you could just use this as a preset, my boy. Okay, so look, we got it with the PG. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. It is free. Okay, look, we're gonna go with 6-6. Six, six. 
We're gonna take that weight down to the 180. Wingspan, 7'1", and we're gonna be built. Okay, so you appear bigger than what you really are, man. Um, I'm gonna tell you why. I know y'all, oh, it's ugly. Uh, y'all are weird. <laughs> Get some help. <laughs> y'all remember when mascots, you know, these past couple years, when someone has a mascot, they're very OP, right? You make your build bigger, you are more OP. You feel me? Like, you know, defensive, even offensively, right? So look, firstly, we gonna go down here. Get that boy a 99 stamina, okay? For some reason in this community, everyone thinks your stats stop at 99. This is not true. Your stats go way above 99. So when you do get gym rat or whatever, even though this hoe do not work on current gen. Okay, so you can make this build for next and current gen. You just alter it, okay? The build system's almost exactly the same. Okay, so look, for some reason, people think your stats stop at 99. They don't. They go above 100, okay? Okay. When you start to get hot, your badges kick in, etc. This is common knowledge. Everyone thinks, oh, just stop at 96. No, uh, stamina is very important for a lot of aspects of things. And uh, we got 99 stamina. I'm not saying make 99 stamina for all your builds, but for this build in particular, you want 99 stamina. The 75 vertical, man, okay? And the 89 acceleration, man. Very important for dribblers and um just speed boosting in general there's a lot of misinformation out there bro it's kind of crazy so look we gonna bring this steel all the way up to a 99 okay and we're gonna bring that perimeter d up to a 70 so look and look you can make this on next gen too the badges are gonna be different and i'm um, at different heights you get way more defensive badges if you do something like this but six six I'm gonna I'm explain it to you like why the, the the height is there like the reason why I'm picking Okay, so look we get you know so gold or so look we get bronze challenger eh. bronze clamps Okay, that's needed, you know off ball pest hall of fame, you know the pick dodger and eh, you don't really need that hall of fame interceptor hall of fame glove Okay on a 6-6 PG build. This is not a lock Okay, this is not a lock. So you can go guard ball yourself. Y'all know 99 still is broken. Mike Wang is not fixing it because all these dumb content creators and bot people, they don't want the game fixed. They are giving them a cop out to not even adjust the game. Okay, like not to do their job ever. <laughs> Crazy, right? But um, yeah, 99 Interceptor. Anytime the guard comes on my side, I can go get that bump still instant or I could go guard ball instant Because I know I'm a way better defender than anyone and just this 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 opens up the whole game to so have two Builds on your team that have a 99 steal on 3v3 is broken Broken as hell, bro, especially in the wreck having a 99 steal bro. You're going crazy, bro you're, you're, you're going crazy, especially if you learn how to steal, bro. Y'all let me know um, if you want me to drop a tutorial on how to get a steal. Okay, so we're going to bring that pass accuracy up to an 82, ball handle to an 89, speed with ball to a 76, okay? Hall of Fame ankle breaker, gold clamp breaker, very OP, silver handles for days, Hall of Fame quick first step, gold killer combos, gold hyperdrive, gold unpluckable. You know you got everything, you lock the perfect animations, your uh, pass accuracy a little faster, you know? This is what we doing for shooting. You know, we got gold agent threes on a 99 steel build, okay? By the way, the reason I'm not making them shorter, by the way, if y'all didn't know, the shorter you make your builds, the more badges you can get to make it look crazy. But having it at 6'6", six, six, you still get that stupid speed. So I'm like just as fast as a small build and I'm bigger, which makes it easier for me to finish, get stops in the paint. You know, bro, look, look I'm, I'm, I'm talking from a meta perspective, right? A lot of people, they try to bully small builds. Since you appear bigger, they're not gonna try to bully you, right? And then even if they do, you have a 99. So it's like, bro, Anytime anyone has the ball, if the lock has the ball, you can spam because you know he don't have unpluckable, right? And even if he do, it's very low. If the center has the ball, you almost can guarantee he probably don't have unpluckable. You can spam. If the PG has the ball, <laughs> you can still spam. So it's like, no matter what, you can get steals off on people. And you got gold agent threes, gold catch and shoot, 
gold green machine, gold amp, gold blinders, Hall of Fame clay, gold mini magician, Hall of Fame space creator, Hall of Fame volume. So you you don't you got all your essentials. You're super fast. You can fade like a god. Everything, bro. It's it's a ridiculous build, man. These builds low key more OD than uh the 2K15 ones, man. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know why everyone thinks everyone was a demigod. Y'all really didn't play that game. <laughs> and for the finishing, bro, we got gold limitless takeoff, silver posterizer. That's all you really need. The rest, you know, you you good with it. You get all the con, you get the best contact dunk, and you good. This is the final. Hey, I'll rock the takeovers like this, man. Sharp take a given, very important. Um, on current gen, bro, you get double takeover um right when you get your takeover unlike next gen you get your takeover you only get one takeover like basically in like three shots on next you get single takeover but on current gen you get double takeover bro it's kind of crazy um a lot of people under underrate this takeover um if you want to be brain dead you can of course have a takeover with slasher take and sharp and that's basically brain dead on current but this playmaking, you know, it's hard to get threes low key um, versus comp, right? So if you could break their ankles, plus you're even faster, and you, you know, your pass, your passing speeds faster, um, you could break a nigga ankle, get the three, or you know when they go to W after you break their ankle or whatever it is, right? You dot them and then they get a boost. People struggle to shoot in um, tough comp games. So this this playmaker take is definitely underrated. This is why I made this build like this. And yeah, man. Y'all let me know what takeovers y'all would go. And is this still shot creator takeover gives you takeover the fast? Man, low I'm finna show y'all an amazing 1v1 demigod build. Paul George, LeBron. Why? Ask a build, man, and I'm gonna explain it to you, how to use it, etc. So y'all gonna make sure you don't skip any parts of this video or you're not gonna really understand. But yeah, you can use this for 2v2s, 1s, rec, pro-am, 3v3s. It's just, it's like, it's the ultimate build, bro. You know, a build that's, that's unpatchable and a build that you don't have to make other builds, you know, like, you short on money, you ain't got a lot of money, you make a, your build like this, okay? So we're gonna take this hoe to 6'8", okay? Bring that weight down to 180. You're going to make them build to appear even bigger than what you are, okay? Trust the swan. 7'1 wings. Now look, we got 97 stamina, bro. You need stamina in this game, very important, especially on a big build like this. 75 vert, we are gonna have access to some very in, protect, in particular dunks. It's gonna help you get boards and it's gonna help your inside contest. Um, your strength will be higher, so don't panic. Your acceleration is very important. The most important thing, you are gonna want this maxed out, okay? And your speed will be going up also, so do not panic. Now here's the defense right here. 17 defensive badges, very good, okay? This build can do anything, get all the inside stops. Okay, look at the strength, it's decent enough. You get the anchor badge, you get the glove, you get the silver interceptor, you get anchor on bronze, silver clamps, gold challenger, but you don't really need that, you know, but just in case you want to, you know, it's more of a, if you're playing comp people badge, right? And you know, we got the rebound chaser too. Now I might adjust this, you know, just keep watching. Now the playmaking, man, you know, we got the 77 speed with ball, it's not as important as a lot of people seen we got the 89 ball handle, you know, so we can get Hall of Fame quick first step. And the 80 pass accuracy, right in between silver and gold bullet. These are subject to chain also. I'm just showing you a version right now. Hall of Fame ankle breaker, gold hyperdrive. We got the bailout on silver. Hall of Fame quick first step as a tier two badge. And Agent threes, tier two badge. Okay, very important, bro. It does a lot more than a lot of people think. It's not just a fading badge. It's a stop and pop. Uh, it's like five, six badges from last year into one. It is your most important badge. So if you are a main ball handler or you want a duo ISO or whatever, you need this badge. 89 is the, that is the, that is the, that is the spot. 89 or plus. You trying to be like real glitchy, you know? 
pro tip from the swarm. Now look at that damn finish. 17 finishing badges so we can get limitless takeoff, you know, off rip. 80 standing dunk. We have silver rise up. Gold acrobat. Very OP. Hop step. Uh, spinning, uh, spinning, uh, layup, spinning anything, you know, all this acrobat stuff. Sometimes your dunks don't go up and it switches the layup a lot. So to have an 84 is going to help you out tremendously. Hall of Fame Pro Touch, Silver Posterizer, Silver Slithery. So yeah, man, I altered it a little bit. Now we got 18 finishing. And yeah, man, things are a little altered in it. These are all the takeovers you get, man. You get the slashing, the sharpshooting, playmaking, and the lock. You could do the um, lock badges, bro. Up to you. I'll probably do this for the takeovers. Lonzo, Tyrese, and this... uh. K nigga. Inside out shots creator. Y'all let me know if y'all see this too much. And look, man, I got a Steph Curry build for y'all. Jason Kidd build. Drew Holiday build. Gary Payton build. I know the undersized PGs ain't getting a lot of love, but there there's some cheesy uh point guard builds going around. And I want to give uh, my version on what I think would be the best. And I'm going to really break it down to you so you understand. You can tweak it. This is just a template. And, you know, you, you could do for what you want. So make sure y'all watch this full video or you're not going to understand. Okay? Now I tried a bunch of heights. All that. The 6'1", for some reason, is glitch. Lowest weight. Make his body type built, you know, to appear bigger than you are. Don't do that other stuff. I know people are going to do it, but you want to appear bigger, especially since you're going to be 6'10 wings, man. You're going to be able to dunk on this little 80 driving dunk, 77 driving layup. So, you know, we're going to have gold giant slayer, fearless finisher, silver, pro touch gold, and the limitless takeoff. That's really why we got this, uh, you know, 16 back. And we're going to be cool. You need it on at least silver, bro. Now, look acceleration man we're gonna bring that hoe to a 96 now if you want more badges you want more attributes overall on this build you can take the acceleration down bro but the point of being a small guard to have this high uh acceleration is to to put it up i know people stop at 90 91 92 93 94 like why not just max it out it is um your speed boosting your dribbling speed all that shit, man. so why not just have it at the highest? You're gonna be faster than every other guard in the game. And uh, the vertical at 60 for the quick drops. Bring this stamina to 94. We got speed to guard. You know, and again, you can have the build look better than what I'm finna show y'all. The key is this acceleration. It's, it's too hot, but still, this is still an amazing build, especially for this side. 99 steel, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna patch this shit. Even if they do patch it, Hall of Fame glove is pretty broken, bro. Pro Am wreck, especially wreck, bro. A lot of people aren't running uh unpluckable. And e even bro, this build, especially when people keep trying to baby you and stuff, you're gonna be able to just spam square. So people are gonna be like hesitant to try to baby you because you could just spam square as soon as it switches. And when the locks on you, a lot of locks don't even have unpluckable to even put on and um a lot of centers so you know when you're guarding them in the corner or say you're guarding ball or, or whatever you're guarding and there's a secret i'm gonna show you all at the end of the vis you're gonna want to really watch that bro th this glove shit bro it's like you really can just fuck niggas up a lot of people don't have unpluckable on and by the way those are not the people that's complaining about how glove is broken and unpluckable isn't i'm telling you if niggas aren't main ball handlers they don't have glove on so when you get on them you could just reach people gonna be trying to baby you and stuff and all that because you're little and you could just reach <laughs> and uh it's gonna help you out man now this interior bro we gonna max this hoe out bro um says contest shots near the rim you know people are gonna try to baby you so you're gonna have to uh have this up somewhat hopefully it helps i have not tested this but i assume six one you be able to get some stops um last year you could get some stops on a six one um even without interior on your build like if you do your contest right you you should be able to get some stops i'm saying if you're like contesting like Contesting, contesting, like jumping when they're going up and stuff. And you're right there. Now, I'm not talking about following and all that stuff. You know? So, again, how you can have better stats on this build is not having your ball handled this high. Okay. Um, but the thing is, Curry Six, and you get Hall of Fame Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive is a very 
useful badge. So it's gonna help your speeds even more, bro. 78 pass accuracy, speed will ball 77. And yeah, man, like if you go with 90, you could get so many more badges. But me personally, I think since, you know, Sigs is kind of, uh, I think Curry could be something. You know, Steve Francis is pretty cheesy. But I think Curry, it might, it, it, it could be possible. And then the Hall of Fame hyperdrive, I, I, I think it's worth going. Or you could do the 90. It's up to you. It all depends on your play style. Now this three point, we gonna get gold agent threes, gold catch and shoot, gold blinders, silver limitless, Hall of Fame space creator, gold amped, you know, and all these other badges, man. Then we got a 72 free throw, you know, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, Hall of Fame quick first step, gold clamp break, silver handles for days. You know, you could go 94, but it's like, it really messes up a lot of stuff. Hopefully, I, I think the interior, it, it might be able to help somewhat, you know? <laughs> so it could be worth it, bro, to be honest. But if it's not worth it, you, you could of course take down your interior and add it to other things to boost your playmaking or, you know, your finishing, even your shooting, and yeah, bro. And by the way, I put um, perimeter defense to 80. Now, for the takeovers, you get all these takeovers, man, right? Me, personally, I would do this, okay? It says, drops the opposition's offensive badges down a tier when getting near them on the perimeter. So this basically means that you can drop unpluckable and you'll have Hall of Fame glove. You're ripping everybody. And then it says doubling up will give you twice the impact of the selected ability when the secondary takeover is activated. Oh, the secondary takeover. Oh. You could be patient and wait for it, bro. It's 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 up to you, bro. But you know, I would do this for the first one. Even even if you you know you take it down one level. That, I, I think that's major, man. You can put the Limitless on, do some shit like that. Uh, up to you, man. And then voila, man. You know, you got the Drew Holiday. Fuck these other niggas. They ain't got no 99 steel. And you a three-point shot creator. Y'all let me know if y'all ever seen this build name. If you got it. If you see it in the park. Not if you... And do you want to build like Jason Kidd? Marcus Smart? Kobe? Paul George? You know, a two-way star? A defensive demigod? This is the video for you, man. We are dropping another meta playmaking lockdown build. Make sure y'all seven speed, okay? You're faster than guards. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and big builds. Acceleration's gonna go up more because it's tied to something else that's gonna be going up. Your strength is decent, okay? It's decent. It's not nothing, but it's something. It's good enough, man. You don't need to really invest a lot into strength. Unless you're playing like ones, maybe twos, but you can still get by without it even then. This is a lockdown build, meta lock. Now the vert, I would want to do more because it does help with a lot of different things, but I think this is good enough for what we got going on. And we got the 87 stamina and that's good for a lot. Okay, now we got an 80 interior. You're gonna be able to get plenty of stops on everybody, any and every build. We got a 97 perimeter defense. You are faster than everyone. You got Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame glove, Hall of Fame interceptor. You got the 99 steel. You're broken. You got gold rebound chaser. Look at that, 93 rebound, okay? You got gold chase down artist. You got silver anchor to really help you out, man. Got gold pogo stick, silver post lockdown. You got everything. You got, you really have everything you need to crash, help your team out on the boards, and get the defensive boards, help your team out with them second chance points, and stuff a lot of inside stuff, and press people, and get crazy steals everywhere. This is a stupid, insane. Then you got that 87 speed. Come on, bro. This a, this a real nice lock lineup, man. Now look, here's your playmaking. Now look, you got 17 playmaking on this nigga. That sound crazy, right? This is like some big build playmaking. Now look, you unlock uh, the best pass style, okay? So it makes your passes even faster. You got the 80 ball handle. You get to unlock some dope cigs right at this 80 mark. You could go 75, but that 80 stuff is crazy. Okay, now we got the speed with ball at 80, so we unlock that John Wall. We got the 75 ball handle, so we unlock, you know, some other cigs. 
And then, you know, we got the best pass style. You know, I switched it around a little bit. And yeah, you get set 17 playmaking, man. So you're gonna be able to unlock unpluckable, ankle breaker, hyperdrive, silver quick first step, bailout, you know, other shit. And you're gonna be able to, uh, you know, probably core, you know, probably unpluckable, and, you know, get clamp breaker. It's gonna really help you out, help your team out. Okay, now we got 73 free throw. We not missing no free throws. We got an 81 three point and we got a 69 midi, man. You should be able to hit with that uh, 69 midi. We got an 81 three point. We got that gold catch and shoot, gold corner, gold space creator. And um, we'll be able to get two uh, tier three badges and those will be limitless range and agent threes. And yeah, you know, like this is, this, this is good enough. Now look, for a lockdown, bro, you're not going to be able to, to get limitless takeoff and post rise. I made another lock to still get the uh, quick drops reach, but it was pointless. It was pointless. It's, I mean, it's okay. I mean, you have a higher dunk. It's harder to stop people with a, a higher dunk. But if you're not going to be able to break in tier and two and get like limitless takeoff, there's no point to go for an Giannis. I mean, kind of. There, there is a point, but it's not like, it's not a major thing. So I'm giving y'all two different options. Y'all can go check out my other uh, lockdown build. It's my most recent one. But yeah, this is just the lower version. Like, since you're not going to be able to get the limitless takeoff. You got the 70 dunk. You got some good packages at the 70 dunk. And, you know, your layup, eh. But, you know, you got Pro Touch Silver and... You know, th this is the bill, okay? He's meant to really help out these ways and, uh, you know, just get them open dunks. And, you know, he cool, bro. This is the build. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Now, for the takeovers, bro, you get the lock takes. You get the uh, inside paint takes. And you got the uh, glass takes, bro. So you can really switch this up and make something crazy. You know, the paint intimidation, bro. What? Like... Who, who's going to make it now on you? Who? Come on, bro. That's crazy. Or you could do this too to really mess people up. I, I, I recommend this. I haven't tested it out, but I think this personally will be something very broken that will allow you to get a lot of steals. And um, yeah, bro, because it's going to knock down the implacable crazy. And you got a 99 steal, Hall of Fame glove, you know. And look, man, we got Lonzo Ball, Jason Kidd, and Marcus Smart. We got some nice little comparison. And look, do you want to lock up these faders, these cheesers? Do you want the meta lockdown, the best lockdown you can make, the best of all worlds, not just defense, not just shooting, but to also have playmate, to have unpluckable, to not just have your pass accuracy up? Before we get into the build, man, I'm going to explain it all down to a time to get through screens. Is it your own poison? Okay, now, firstly, bro, we got the stamina at an 85. I think this is okay, man. Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. It might be 90, but, you know, ball handlers will be doing 90. When you have lockdown, you can have a lower stamina i think this is good enough to be honest to me um we got the speed 87 to really keep up with the meta play shots and we got a, a decent acceleration you don't really need um the acceleration for a lockdown but we're also going to be able to ball handle and help bail out our point guard or just you know help the team for pro-am and rec and all that man and we got a 60 vertical and let's bring this strength up to a 47 so we got a little bit of strength strength was definitely overrated this year i would like a higher vertical to be honest because it helps with um rebounding contest other different type of things but um there's so many other things that i have on this build that i think is really uh nice man Here's the defense, man. We got a 68 interior. This is pretty good for a lockdown. Pretty good, man. We got that silver anchor and then a decent interior. You're going to be able to get paint stops. And then you got uh, that big ass 74 wingspan and your 67. You got a 97 perimeter, Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame challenger, Hall of Fame glove, Hall of Fame interceptor, 99 steel to you know really cheese niggas and you know make them hate their life make them reevaluate why they play this shit okay and you fast as hell man 
you have higher speeds than guards, man. You're, you're, you know, look at your speed. And then look at this. Like, you're faster than guards, bro. Like, that is. Uh, you got an 87 block. Okay, this helps your uh, contest. This helps you get blocks in the paint. Then you got that silver anchor and the challenger to help. You feel me? And you got a 93 defensive rebound. And you got some decent offensive rebound and you got gold rebound chaser bro this is nice you know this is you know we got look at this we got gold pogo too like this is a this is a real good defensive set i would want more defensive to be honest but i'll just do my plus fours and you know really focus on getting my defense up so i can really get all these badges with 29 you still can get most of these badges that really matter you can get all four of them tier threes and then still have some uh for some other defensive badges too. So it's pretty cool, man. Now we have 17 playmaking on a lockdown, bro. Okay, so you're gonna really be able to help your team a lot with dimer and floor general if you want. But um your pass accuracy is 75, so you can get the best passing style. Your ball handle is enough to unlock, you know, a very cheesy escape size up. Paul George. <laughs> and then we got the 77 speed with ball. That's going to help you in Pro-Am and 3v3 somewhat. And it just helps me get a lot of badges. Like, I have a lot of badges right here. Like, I, I can really do a lot to help the team. I got the quick first step on silver. I got the bailout, the hyper drive, the vice grip. I heard glue hands was with vice grip. I don't know though. Y'all let me know if that's true. Um, we got unpluckable and then we can have the handle for days. So we could be a secondary ball handler somewhat like in the park and stuff and still get a little wiggly with it, man. The real point of this is to get unpluckable, bro. Cause if y'all don't know, I've been saying this since the beginning, people are gonna figure out that most lock builds and center builds, if they're traditional and not just a big, you know, ISO build, they're not going to have unpluckable or quick first step, really. And people are just going to start reaching. So at least you get silver unpluckable with this. Okay, man. Now we got 17 shooting, bro. We got an 82 three pointer. People say a 63 free throw is good enough. Y'all let me know the lowest free throw you know that's good enough to always hit um we get gold amped we get the claymore gold we get to uh really focus in on clutch shooter and comeback kid too this will be very clutch for your team these are only four points um for a lot they say corner specialists don't even work leak 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 but we really want this catch and shoot gold and um we got agent threes bronze everything else don't really matter you're gonna be able to have sharp take on this build so you really don't even need that uh limitless on bronze to be honest so you can really focus on these two badges and really do some damage bro okay so look here's how it's looking now man okay we actually got the 74 free throw 17 shooting we got the 80 dunk man i did want i do want contacts i do want the limitless takeoff but you can't get it at least we got the quick drops but um it's not going to be as efficient with limitless takeoff but it's too much investment for finishing to be honest, man. So, you know, we got everything else, right? But um, I, I, I think this is cool enough. Uh, I think your lock should definitely have dunk. You know, I could have went lower <laughs> and then, uh, you know, high, high in some other stuff. But I don't know, bro. I think we need dunk. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe not for the locks. But uh, th th this is what we rocking with, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know uh, what's the favorite build that y'all made. And if y'all got over 80 win percent, bro, hit me up on uh, Twitter, bro. Could be current gen or next gen. Or if you got interesting builds and you want me to use them hoes. So look, we got sharp and lock take, bro. This is amazing, okay? Now me personally, bro, I was doing extreme clamps and then perimeter badge drop, but bro, I might double this shit. I think this is going to be broken, bro. But I don't know. Just, I heard extreme clamps don't really work like that. 
I don't know, man. Uh, actually, I think this is pretty broken, bro. Um, yeah. WLR mentioned this in my stream earlier because I was making this build on on our stream. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hulk. And um, thinking about it, man, this would be broken. I did have it as a secondary, but I didn't think of doubling it because I didn't think it would, you know, double knock shit down. But I'm going to definitely test this out for a video. Hopefully nobody beat me to it. Now let's make the build, man. We got a, a interesting name. I've never seen no one with this name before. And these is the weak ass shades. I don't know why this Kirk nigga up here. Why y'all think this nigga up here? We got a three and D points up to an 86. Okay, so look, we got the drive and dunk 86, boy. We got gold limitless takeoff, silver posterizer, Hall of Fame drop stepper, Hall of Fame dream shake, Hall of Fame back down punisher, and Hall of Fame post technician. Now, with this Hall of Fame post technician, play like me. Y'all know how I play. You know, straight ISO twos, threes. You know, this, this bro. You're going to be able to put someone in a post animation and post spin them and then just go dunk the ball or post spin them and then just step back. Like no one's going to be able to stop your post spin with your post spin being Hall of Fame, bro. And then you could drop step niggas. You could do all type of cheesy post scoring shit. And then you get the contact dunks. You got enough for the standing dunks. It's ridiculous, bro. This is ridiculous, bro. 3.84. Okay. So we get gold amped. Hall of Fame Space Creator, you know, Hall of Fame Clutch Shooter, Silver Agent 3s, so we're going to be able to fade with this big ass nigga, isn't that crazy? Green Machine, Limitless Range, even though it's bronze, you know, it, it could be better, but still, we got that whole, and we got sharp take on this big bitch, nigga, isn't that crazy? So we're going to bring his pass accuracy, okay, so we got the pass accuracy at... 78 i didn't want to do 80 but you know i needed it for other stuff we do have enough for the lebron passing style i believe and that makes your passes a lot faster so we should be good bro as you can see we got hall of fame quick first step as a 6-9 glitchy glitchy and we got hall of fame unpluckable as a 6-9 glitchy glitchy what the fuck Nigga, this shit broken. Why the fuck they do this shit for post score? What the fuck? Ain't this shit crazy, nigga? Okay, so look, we got a nice interior on a 6-9. We got a big ass wingspan. We got the perimeter D. Okay. You know, we have the interior with the anchor, silver anchor, plus the 87 block, nigga. You feel me? That that that's big time. We got the gold challenger, which is the interceptor. You know, a lot of people are running to the rim and abusing the paint defense because this game has no defense. So, you know, we got the silver anchor and the, and the big size to really try to make a difference with that. We got the silver glove and the silver interceptor, you know, big boy shit. We got nice speeds, you know, like we're going to be able to keep up with niggas. Like you're basically a lock and a point guard. So you really won't need no one. It's like the ultimate tools build. Like you can have two of these niggas and just... <laughs> Three of these niggas on the threes, bro. Nigga, five of these niggas on Pro-Am, like, you know, but you might have to adjust the rebound in a little bit. But, nigga, this is ridiculous. You know, the block, like, this helps your contest with shit. This is ridiculous, bro. I did want to do the rebounding, but this is more of a point guard. This is a point guard that's just big, you know, like Magic Johnson, LeBron type shit, you know. I could have didn't, but but th this just OD. A lot of people are saying they have low rebound stats and they're still getting crazy bored. Um, all you gotta do is box out, and your size just helps you get them boards. You know, a lot of y'all don't know how to uh, really box out, so when a max. So look, this is finished. Okay, the physicals, you know, the 70 speed. Y'all might complain, blah blah blah. Um, you don't really need it like that, bro. Um, it's just off ball movement. Like keeping up with niggas and stuff like that but I, I got the perimeter to you know help out with that um it's, it's good enough I, I believe this is good enough um there's other people will be having 70 speed and shit and you know they be rocking with this shit but this is the build bro so this is pretty fucking crazy my nigga to be honest man you know this is pretty crazy bro like it's not always about the bad spread bro like the look at this defense like 
This is wild, bro. And then we got a clickbait name, bro. So look, we get the shark takes and the post takes. takes. Now look, if you really want to be like cheesy as hell, you got this uh, takeover that can help you with your post spins. And you can just post spins to dunk moves or, or whatever the fuck you want to do. Then we got the lock takes, you know, we'll put on extreme clamps and then limitless range and <laughs> nigga, nigga, or spot up, whichever you prefer, bro. Like, or you could do the post shit, but, um, yeah, your close shot's not high enough to really abuse it. Maybe you might be able to post fade some shit or maybe you, you know, you, you'll still be able to abuse it because of your height. I, I, I'm not too sure, but, um, this is ridiculous, bro. Like. Choose whatever takeovers you want to grind your build, what would actually help you. And here are your shades, man. I did have uh, Ben Simmons instead of LaMelo, but then um, I went and did the sharp take. So this is like a LeBron, Magic, LaMelo build. This shit crazy, nigga. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Let me know y'all's favorite build down below um, that you've made so far. In the uh, we're gonna bring the driving dunk to 86. Okay, we're gonna get that gold limitless takeoff, man. So you can uh, we're gonna bring the shooting to 81. We got some nice badges now. Look, you don't have to add an extra badge, get the tier three catch and shoot because as you can see, it takes seven, 10 plus seven is 17, and um, you get 17 badges. This is good enough to hit, man. And make sure you do what my name says <laughs> like or lag all year. 70 pass accuracy the build's gonna get better man okay we're gonna have a little ball handle a little uh speed with ball so you know we got quick first step we got the contacts but we don't have enough for the posterizer right maybe they're gonna let us be able to get posters without posterizer um yeah <laughs> who knows but still it's still good enough to have gold limitless, that's very good. It's the best form of limitless takeoff, if y'all didn't know. Um, and it's gonna help you get more dunks and uh, just like be untouchable. Now we're gonna go to 79 interior. I know he's undersized, but I think he's gonna be able to handle the big boys, man. The insides, the rim running. I think this build has a chance to put a stop to all of that. 79 interior, 79 perimeter. 90 steel, okay? We're gonna get gold interceptor. We got gold menace, gold workhorse. Wait, we got more. Now look, 99 block. I know we're undersized. Y'all probably saying he's gonna get babied, all this and that. 99 block, okay? With the nice interior. And you got the Hall of Fame anchor, which is Hall of Fame rim protector. I think a lot of people don't have that this year, but we got that on this build. Okay, so you see you see where I'm going with this? 99 rebound. You know, he undersized, but he got the 99, okay? We got Hall of Fame rebound chaser also, man. Now, I'm probably going to touch that offensive rebound. You know, hold on, hold on. Go max out that speed, help with the D a little bit. Now, look, 90 vert, boy. And we're going to bring the stamina to 80. Now, look, that vert's going to help you a lot. It's going to help you on defense and rebounding at 6'9", Okay. That's a crazy vert, man. And it's going to help with your contest. So it's like, it's it's it's, it's even crazier than, than what you think. Now, actually, I went and added 17 to the shooting. You feel me? So we don't have to add extra shooting badges. We can just add them to defense later on. Now, I did want the strength, you know, a higher brick wall and all that. But this is more for a spot up build and pick and pops. You'll be you'll be just fine with, with bronze brick wall. To me, I mean, I believe. But this is more for like a spot up build that's going to be able to handle them insides and the super paint mashing because you know paint mashing is terrible in this game. And this is the final build, man, to be honest. Uh, you could have went a lot of ways with this, but if you do your research, it, it, this is this is pretty nice, man. Now, if you wanted to get more free throw, you could take some off of a offensive rebound, but it's completely up to you, man. So we got contact dunks. <laughs> Okay, even if without the contact dunks, if they don't happen, we have limitless takeoff. We have great shooting, right? We got pretty decent playmaking, you know, for a center. And we got elite defense, high rebounding, super high block, uh, anchor badge, you know, pretty elite defense, right? And we got some high speed. And we got the high vertical, man. 
and the stamina decent. So, you know, you can switch some things up, but this is just how to do it at six, nine, without doing the typical, you know, dimer type of stretch big. This is for the, the stretch big that can really get some stops. You know, um, people are struggling with the paint, so I figured make something like this, man, to be honest. Now with the takeovers, you know, you got the sharp takeovers, you know, you got the lock takes and all that. I'll pick stuff blocks first and limitless, to be honest. You can pick the lock take, whatever your play style is, like go for that. Like how you're really gonna use him, go for that. I'm, I like wanna paint like Dominator and like I wanna get them clips from shooting stupid deep too. Now you got a Draymond Green build that can actually shoot, man, and way better defense than that nigga. Very close, man. Do not skip my 59 close shot, okay? Badge purposes. 79 layup, you know? Decent layup. Get to unlock badges and stuff. And um, badge purposes. Now we're gonna bring this not this dunk to a 93, okay? I'ma tell y'all something. The higher dunk you have on this game, confirmed by Dropping off in the people in the stage and just from what I've read and you know just me playing myself can't really get blocked okay I'm going to unlock the best dunk packages in the game elite contact dunks off one okay it's gonna make me really glitchy and we're gonna have standing dunks so we could do standing dunk cheese on a 6-8 and we have the rise up which increases your um likelihood of standing dunk contacting a nigga and you know like it is it's, it's look it's stupid you know we even got all the little back down whole shit look gold posterizer gold slithery limitless takeoff you know so i could core one of these and put one of these on now for the three you are going to unlock agent threes as a tier two badge is this broken or no gold amp hall of fame space creator gold guard up and then we got look they think think this build is a spot up build but i'm literally isoing and dribbling with, it, with this that that's why they got catch and shoot as a tier three they don't even think i can use this build as a i don't know who be making these builders but like they don't have no idea about this game on god nigga niggas lying saying you can't do everything i'm finna show you a build that can do everything <laughs> what the hell they they be they, they really just be talking so look only reason I got my speed with ball up is because I need playmaking badges. You need more playmaking badges in this damn game. So many playmaking badges. Okay. Um, 80 pass accuracy. We're going to unlock Hall of Fame quick first step. And um, yeah, bro, I'm showing you in between the clips of me talking and stuff how fast I'm dribbling. Okay. I sh I'm showing this through like the little test thing after you make the build. And they're the random sigs, and I'm on camera relative, bro. So it's like, damn. I don't even have the glitchy shit on. But yeah, that, that speed with ball, definitely overrated, bro. But I want it. You know what? I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it 22 because you need playmaking, bro. Now, look, we're going to have a little interior in this nigga. What? Okay. Badge purposes, by the way. This build is not meant to guard ball, right? I'm going to be running like three big niggas or me and two other like big ass locks or whatever. But I'm going to be able to play defense and, you know, all that different type of stuff, man. We, we going to really take over. Now, look, we have Hall of Fame Menace, Hall of Fame Workhorse. This is my lateral quickness, too. Look, look at the steal, man. 78 steel, Siv silver interceptor, gold glove or not gold glove, bronze glove, 70 block. So we're going to unlock anchor which is basically rim protector and we got the 51 perimeter we're gonna be able to get some inside stops plus our size man come on bro and then we got a little bit of rebounding plus our size and our insane vertical if y'all didn't know um vertical helps your rebounding this year od we're gonna max out the acceleration only reason i'm upgrading speed is because like i might guard a little bit you know my guard people a little bit so you know you got to vertical goes up this, this is this helps with so many this helps with your contest ratings you're you're jumping at stuff like it it just helps you it, it really really messes niggas up man and look we're gonna bring this stamina up to a 91 and look, then we gonna bring that free throw to a 71. You can use them in all builds, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the build, man. So look, we get elite contact dunks. We have elite finishing, elite shooting, elite playmaking, and pretty goaded defense, amazing size, and we fast as hell. 
Hey, man. Here are our takeovers, you know, so you can get the lock takes, playmaking, the sharp takes, limitless. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Pick whatever takes you want. And look, we got Lonzo, this Tyrese nigga, and LaMelo Ball, man. Two-way inside-out shot creator. So being as big as you are, people aren't gonna think you can shoot. And then it says two-way inside-out creator. It doesn't even say shot creator. So no one's gonna know you have a super high three-point. 89? That's what the guards, bro. They're not gonna know. And I, I haven't really even seen people with this two-way name, to be honest. Maybe last year's and the other year before, but not in 23. They have like more unique, like better names, but it seemed like this is somewhat a rare name. I think y'all let me know. But yeah, man, you you could really uh dick niggas crazy type shit. Anywho, man, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch in the description, Lord Baby Hawk. Let me know what other builds y'all need help with. And uh click one of these two videos, man. Your shot cause of how you look, man. So we're gonna bring this drive and dunk up all the way to a 93. Okay. Bring that layup up to a 75. Now look. We got Giant Slayer on gold. Okay, you 6'3". It's going to help. We got the Pro Touch on gold, Limitless Takeoff, Slithery, and Posterizer, nigga. And this is all before your plus fours, man. So when you get your plus fours, you know, you'll have to put a little bit into this hole. Like maybe one. So, you know, you could core one and then, you know, have the other. Or you could just, like, do more type shit. But, um, yeah, bro, like... Come on, nigga. Like, th this is ridiculous. It's really hard to stop dunking on this hole. So this is why this build is so crazy. Look, 92. This is like the shot that most meta PGs are going with right now. I think, you know, eventually they're going to switch to something else. You know, I'll tell y'all more about that in, in later videos. But look, you have the stupid high shooting. You can fade. You have the limitless range. You got all the best shooting badges and all the best dunk. You're unstoppable, okay? <laughs> You're unstoppable. Now look, you have the best passing. Basically, <laughs> basically, basically, look, now look, look at this. Now you have all the dribble moves. Handles for days, gold, look. Speed with ball, 90. Now look, we're gonna bring up that acceleration. Speed is for defense. We're going to bring that vert up to 82 so we get all contact dunks, at least the best ones. And we're going to bring up this stamina to a 93, okay? This is the build, bro. Now, look, I had a version with defense. I'll post that version later. Now, this I only recommend for if you have a team so you can communicate with your team to, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that, to cover you up. And, you know, sometimes you'll have to deal with some stuff. But overall, nigga, you're unstoppable. You, If you're scoring at a super high rate, they're not going to be able to keep up with y'all. And then you're going to be able to, you know, do stuff like, like say they call a backdoor cut. You could already have someone from the other corner, you know, switch off. And then you quickly switch off and you, 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 you mess up their whole minds, bro. But if you have a team, you can really use this hoe. And then since you're big... You might get some stops. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, when you have a little bit of size, it gives you a little bit of stops. Like, a little bit. But, um, like, like for instance, I upgraded this. I am I upgraded it to where I could still have the stupid high finishing and the shooting and the playmaking, right? And I had enough defense. I had about, like, 15 or something. No, no, I, I had, like, 11 or 12 or 13, something like that, right? And I noticed... I'm not gonna be able to get none of these tier three badges. So what's the point in putting defense on this nigga? Like really think about it. A 6'3 nigga with no clamps, a 6'3 nigga with no interceptor, a 6'3 nigga with no glove, a 6'3 nigga with nothing. So if you're gonna make it to where you get this high shit, you might as well go no defense. Cause it's basically what you gonna have. What, what, what are any of these badges gonna do? Okay, anchor will help you. That's it, though. No, you can't even get anchor. So an off-ball pest, uh, you know, what? Rebound, like, you ain't got, what? Workhorse, that, that'll help you, but, like, what, what else? What else? 
nothing else, man. So yeah, if you play with randoms, I mean, you can always communicate with them and stuff, but this is for niggas with a team. Um, I'm sure meta people are gonna make builds like this, especially, maybe even pro-am guys. And uh, yeah, bro, uh, this is the build, bro. Of course, I'm gonna make bigger versions of this to where you can have defense and all of this. So, I mean, if y'all want to wait on that, you can wait on that. But I don't think we'll be able to get that 92-3 and have all of this with, like, the, the playmaking and, and the super high ball handle. This is, like, the straight offensive demi, okay? Yeah. And, look, we had that 16-23-28-1. and one. Now, you can use this for rec, too, because it's, like... You know, you, you just got to communicate, bro. You you really do. That's all you got to do is communicate. And you you can make it work, bro. Y'all know. It, it's like, for instance, everyone had them small PGs last year. They had defense on them, but niggas was still killing them, bro. You can still kill little ones. So it's like, are you really putting defense on your nigga for, like, no reason? Because you, like, barely getting any stops. You feel me? But, um, yeah, I, I already know how to rock with it. Any of y'all make this whole hit me up because I would love to use it for a video. I might make one of these myself. I don't know, but I'm definitely making a bigger build, a big ISO build very soon. I'm still deciding on which one I want, but yeah, man. These are all the takeovers you get. You get all the playmaking takes, the sharpshooter takes, shot creator and slasher takes. You know, you can go straight uh, slasher, so people think you're just a slasher. And uh, now you got that 92.3, they not gonna be, they ain't gonna check you, man. you know, feel me? And we got that Lillard, Darian Fox, at all. Three point shot creator, I know it says three point shot creator, it might mess up people, but nah, they, they, they don't be looking. You let me use it for a video, please, bro, please. So look, you can post hook with this nigga, even though them niggas is getting patched. Look at this, 88 post hook, bro, okay? Very toxic very toxic driving layup plus your height so you you know your height gonna make it to where you're driving layup really like 80 something that's what that's what it's gonna feel like we're gonna give him a stupid high driving dunk y'all know driving dunks are really hard to stop we're gonna give him a stupid high driving dunk we're gonna have every dunk in the game boy as y'all can see man i got Gold uh, fast twitch, gold posterizer, gold limitless takeoff, gold slithery, gold masher, Hall of Fame pro touch, gold fearless finisher. Like, you feel me? Like, it's looking pretty broken right now. We gonna make that three point shot a 91, boy. So at 6'9", you get Agent 3's gold, just like a little guard. You Your, your three is as high as a little guard right you get the amp you get all these badges guard up hall of fame blinders catch and shoot dead eye limitless look at this and then you could get if y'all want me to drop the badge glitch to help y'all unlock these tier three shits come on nigga pass accuracy what y'all thought i went low on this hoe no nigga great pass accuracy for a six nine your ball handle you could go higher, but look, 80 is all you need. And I'm going to tell you why, a little secret, that Paul George is glitchy. I'm going to drop a dribble tutorial later of how to really exploit that hoe, but it's glitchy. It, it might be the meta for PGs, too. Leak, leak, leak. Speed with ball, 75. Or no, 76. The interior. Yes, we have interior, my boy. I know KDs would be higher in real life, but you know, you gotta work with what you got. This is like a meta, like comp type of uh, KD build, man. The perimeter D, 86, it's your lateral, bro. And your contest rate, 86. So we get silver clamps, gold challenger, which is the new intimidator. And we get purple workhorse, which is, which is the off ball shit. Your steel. 78 at 69 that's incredible boy you can run the one with this build imagine three of these or two of these you get silver interceptor bro this is broken nigga y'all rate this hoe look 70 block you feel me so you get that rim protector just in case you want to use it or the pogo stick right 
Now, th this is where it's a little weak, but you still got something to wiggle with. Look, you 6'9", and this is like a one build, okay? So, you know, you got some rebounding. You got the rebound chaser. You unlock it, you know, if you want to use it for the future. So, you're going to be able to unlock two tier threes at, at um, uh, <laughs> damn, what the fuck? Is two tier threes for this 6'9 build. Come on, bro. Your speed. This is how you guard ball and all that. Look, 79. Your excel. High. This is this is up there with guards, boy. Come on, nigga. This, this shit is OD. 82. Look at this. Now your stamina. Oh, damn. I don't forgot. We have a 70 standing dunk. I'm going to show y'all how to abuse that in the future, man. And look. Your free throw good enough. Look at this. Look at this hoe. Now look, this is OP as hell. I'm going to drop other big builds if y'all want to wait on it. But this is still top tier, bro. You know, this is like S tier, maybe A plus tier. But I got other big builds that I got to drop. But this is crazy, bro. 17, 23, 19, 15. Don't always be like, you know, the, it's not always about the... The badge layout, even though this is crazy, it's about what you can actually unlock and use. Don't be getting jutsu, my boy. Niggas out there with uh KD builds that got no clamps. Come on, man. But um, it don't th this doesn't really matter. This is gonna do like <laughs> double limitless. Wait, let me, let me let me show you the takes real quick. Okay, so you get some slasher take, you get some lock takes. If that if that's what you're suffering with, whatever. You know, you get some lock takes, limitless range, and, you know, extreme clamps. This is OD, bro. And voila. Look at this. Andrew Wiggins, Vince Carter, Jason Tatum. Who's ever had shades of this? Inside out score. So, look, they not going to know you really a three guy. If you want to take that three, uh, that uh, sharp take off, you can take that hole off. They going to think you're a slasher, boy. And you have a 91-3 with all them badges. You can ruin niggas. Ruin niggas. Now, let me show you all the shit you can core on this bitch. This is without your plus four and the other of 72. Okay? Get the same exact stats. So, we're going to make this close shot. 52. Okay? 52. Drive and layup 77, bro. Okay? This is a real nice layup, man. They Teardroppers are OP, they say. Got that pro touch, man. We are getting quick drops on a 6-1 PG, just like last year. They said these builds were patched, though. Crazy, right? We are getting MIDI Magician on Hall of Fame, okay? This is mostly a 3v3 build, okay? This is a 3v3 Rec Pro-Am-esque build. Not for the twos, <laughs> not for the ones. This is a 3v3 build. You can ISO or use screens with it. And yeah, man. Or pick and pop with it type shit. And you can dunk that ball, nigga. You can get on that rim. <laughs> you know, niggas don't like that play style. Now look, 25 shooting badges. Check it out. You know you get hella badges. Nice three. Pass accuracy, man. You're going to be slinging that bitch. Bring that hoe to 86, man. Ball handle, 94. You gonna unlock all the best dribble moves. Nice handles for days, all that. Speed with bow, 90, okay? This build, even if y'all see other builds out there that seem a little different, this is just a overall, all around, super dope build, bro. I, I, I fuck with this, this is gonna be usable. Comp levels and all that. 76 perimeter D, a lot of niggas is going without D. And, um, but for this, you don't, <laughs> You actually have some D, man. As I said, Pro-Am, Rec, all that. You know, if you guarding up top, you can get a little wiggly with it, man. Look, 16 defensive badges, man. You can get some plucks, interceptions. You not like no, like, midget, nigga. You know, you can get a little, you know, and, you know, if niggas try to bully you, you can get some stops. You can, you, you can get some stops. You could do it in 22. So, I mean, if they say a paint defense buffed, I mean, you should be able to still get some. Now, nah, I've seen some people get some stops. And then you're going to have the plucks, all that, man. You got 16 of them hoes. You know, you got some nice ratings. 
them interceptions be clutch. We bring that speed to 81, this to 89, and you ain't gotta exactly make this. You could tweak it to how you want it, man. But this is just my first build. Y'all always beg me for my builds, so I got you, man. This is just my first one. And then we got that stamina to 92, man. This is the official Swante build. A lot of people see me make this on stream. And yeah, you know, make sure y'all follow me on Twitch in description. Lord Baby Hulk. Look, as you can see, man, we got the Giant Slayer. We got Acrobat, Fearless Finisher, Pro Touch, Limitless Takeoff, Posterizer, Slithery Finisher. We got all these goddamn shooting badges. You feel me? Guard Up, Midi Magician, Amp, Catch and Shoot, Space Creator, Agent Threes, Blinders, Dead Eye, Limitless. All these playmaking badges, clamp breaker, killer combos, mismatch, you know, all these little weak ass badges. Look, we got Hall of Fame off ball pest. So, you know, niggas, it's gonna make it tough for niggas to cut on you. We can have a little bit of rebound chaser, even though we ain't got the, I don't know why they're giving us rebound chaser. Uh, weird. But, you know, that could help you. And since we got 16, we could probably throw that bitch on. Chase down artists. Who knows if this will help? <laughs> Ankle braces. You know, like, you feel me? Menace. Workhorse. That's the loose ball shit. Um, pick dodger. Then you got the glove. Interceptor. Challenger. So we got 16. So we can work around a lot better than a, other, a lot of other PG builds. People aren't going to expect you to get, you know, icky with it. Because, you know you on the court type shit but if you a big boy they're, they're not even people aren't gonna be able to tell you 6'1 because you so brolic nigga and then it's kind of hard to tell people's height when you're looking at them it's mad weird oh yeah and we got a 72 free throw type shit this is the build your takeovers man you know we got the slashing takes you know you can go straight slashing and trick them and then they won't know you're actually a shooter and just spam threes on them niggas, you know, IQ shit. We got the ankle breaker takes, the shot creators, you know, the playmaking. You know, whatever you want, man. You want to shoot from half court? You can shoot from half court on this hoe. We just going to pick anything. It don't really matter. Dun, 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 dun. Ass ass comparisons, but it don't matter, my nigga. And we are a playmaking shot creator. I know y'all hate this name. Look, my nigga brolic as shit, nigga. Nigga, if this nigga pulled up on you, know you niggas will be scared. Fuck you talking about. Hey, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. It is free. And turn on them post notices, my boy. Make sure y'all follow me on uh, Twitch. Link is in description. Y'all let me know what other builds y'all want help with. Centers, power forwards, like what you kind of trying to do. And you know, I'll, I'll help y'all out, man. Y'all a bunch of build tutorials so you're not out here wasting your VC. That's the whole point of build videos, to help y'all out, man. Y'all are, a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all think y'all are a lot better than you are, especially the people that like hate build people or, or people who post build vids. Look, it's just to even the playing field. Niggas want to hide sauce. I'm here to help, you know? Shouldn't be beating you because they have a better build, my nigga. You feel me? And I, I, I'm here for you. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.